<laughs> well, could Bill Clinton be any more Bill Clinton? I refer, of course, to this picture of the ex-prez and a couple of porn stars. Slick okay. Willie, a name I just coined, posed with the lasses in Monte Carlo at a gala event attended by several celebra celebrities and, yes, a bunch of adult actresses. Clinton's flanked here left to right by Brooklyn Lee and Tasha Rain. Yes! I mean, I don't know who they are, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> FYI, Lee recently won the award for Best New Starlet and Best Sex Scene in something called Mission As Possible. She My mom's yes, watching I, this. I, I, I just said that. This or As Possible? Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Clinton has also been seen on the beach in Monte Carlo. I believe we have tape. <laughs> And now the porn stars make sense. <laughs> okay, great. The two actresses told TMZ they were going to approach Clinton to take a picture, and a Secret Service agent kind of brushed them away. But then Clinton had the Secret Service guy call them back to take the picture. Does this make you love him more or a lot more? Uh, it doesn't surprise me. By the way, the, the, the saddest two words put together is porn starlet. Because Solid, it just yeah. doesn't last. Can I just say this? That when, <laughs> when Bill Clinton was with those two women, he's thinking, I'm president. Why didn't I invent that? porn pod. You know, that, that thing that would come over him, like a sex pod? The immediately, immediately he was with these women, this thing would drop over him, and it would allow him to have sex immediately, and then it, then he would take, put, well, he'd put all his clothes on, and then the thing would come back up, and they'd still be like that. Yeah. He would have invented the sex pod. <laughs> No, as soon I, as they went I, over, I, then we all know they no, he's sitting, no, he, he's standing right there going, I wish I had a sex pod. That's what he's thinking. I'm still, I'm floored by your perfect <laughs> mimicry of Clinton, and I just, I, I, can't, I can't get past that. I, wish I, I can't get past it. I wish I had a sex pod. <laughs> she she arrives, <laughs> sounds yes. like him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Rod, I have to say, I, when Clinton was president, I got to the point where I loathed him. I just couldn't stand to look at him. But now, every time I see him, I'm like, do your thing, Willie C. Exactly. And first of all, I'm, I was mad that he had to tell the Secret Service dudes to bring the girls over. It's like, look, I'm not the president no more. Right. There's the other Secret Service who can do that. <laughs> right. I can still live. Yeah. <laughs> Let me live. Is there any the chance he didn't know who these women were? Oh, he knew. At least one of them. Come yeah. on. 50-50 chance. Yeah. At least one. Yeah. She, hey, uh, Brooklyn does good work, too. Does she? Oh, she's a team player. Wouldn't know. Uh, Jill, Clinton knew how quickly this would get around, right? This is this is his little message to the world that he still got it. You know, I love that my impression of this was he had no idea who they were. How how could he know this? He can't find out the job title of everyone. And you guys are all like, of course he knows. <laughs> <laughs> no. So my whole take on this story is like totally uh, useless. No, okay. right. I'm sorry. Yeah, I respect I, the buddy. honesty. I respect the honesty. <laughs> Bill, what sleazy guy or guys brought these porn stars to the event with them? It's not like they just showed up on their own, right? It's the walking herpy that is the Prince of Monaco. <laughs> he is the one that bought them. He's done it before. He'll do it again. And the difference Wait. between he and Clinton is he doesn't care who knows. Right. Now, I agree with bought them. Huh? No. Bought, oh, absolutely bought. Come on. Look. Yeah. 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 Uh, but I agree with Jill in that I don't think uh, Bill Clinton knew that they were porn so stars. So let me get this straight. Did he have sex with them? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that goes without saying. You I'm not even going to throw in a legend in there. Of course he had sex with them, but he didn't know who they were. You can't be shocked that uh, porn stars are at a casino, right? <laughs> yeah. That's where they go. Yeah. Point, yeah. <laughs> Although that whole place is a casino. Yeah. That entire island. No, that was actually the Monaco uh, Club Monaco. Oh, was it? Oh, uh, in, uh, it's yeah. a casino. Was it, no, no, no. It was the store opening. Uh, Roosevelt Field uh, in Long Island, Island, I think. Yeah. 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 Oh, next to Rainbow. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Where I got yeah. the skirt. Oh, uh, is it? No, it's yeah. nice. Yeah. No, that bothers me. Yeah. Uh, I don't have any more questions, so I don't know if we want to move on or if we just, if you guys have anything more you no, want to say okay. about Bill. Porn stars vote. That's no, no. Here's, here's the vote. saddest point about it is that a porn star with very limited uh, means and education can meet a president, whereas none of us can. Sure. That's what I, all you got to do yeah. is be hot. A hot woman, I'm a hot woman has more status than anybody on the planet. I'm not sure I agree with you about the limited means. I mean, it, it, do you mean money? No, I just mean like it's status. Uh, you don't no, need okay. any kind of status if you I'm are a hot. I met the president though, Greg. Star. I met the president of the Selena fan club. <laughs> I went to go visit my cousin in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Awful. Not uh, safe enough. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna just let that one. Camera dude, not it's even you. Camera dude. No. no. <laughs> we did get a thumbs up from the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Say, do you have a comment on the show? Email us at redeyeatfoxnews.com. <laughs> Sherrod, when I'm reading something and you're talking, they can't hear me. It becomes a problem. My bad. I can't. Oh, no, I don't know how TV no, works. No, right, go ahead. Why don't you read it? My, you know, my uh, bad. Leave a phone. voicemail on Greg's direct line. Call 212-462-5050. And still to come, the Halftime Report with Michael Moynihan. Nice. Tonight's Halftime Report is sponsored by Seagulls. Those large, web-footed, white and gray seabirds with a yellow or red beak. Thanks, Seagulls.